There are many of us represented here today that know oppression, we know marginalization, and we know to be suspicious of anybody who promises progress or freedom or whatever you want to call it at the expense of those who are deemed expendable and replaceable. Whether those are black people, disabled people, or babies in the womb. should be. We're searching for that diabolical force in the White House and our churches and the culture. And as a black person, I never thought I would see the day when so many people, especially white people, would have that word on their lips. Yes. And perhaps praise God for that. However, however, it is important for us to get really clear about how we see racism truly operating in the context of pro-abortion politics in the city of Philadelphia. Is co-opting the language of liberation to advocate for the destruction of the lives of the most vulnerable. That's right. Real racism is a so-called white ally telling black and brown women that they need to choose between their dreams and their babies. Mm -hmm. Real racism is thinking that white people, including older white women, cannot care about the lives and the futures of black and brown women. Real racism is advocating for the annihilation of.